The feeling of swaying with the rising sun. The cool water on your skin. A baby animal looking into your eyes with so much trust. Of the gentle wind in your hair or the ferns catching the first light. That feeling when the sun rises from a cloud and it falls on your face and suddenly being soaked in light lets you see the world with clarity. This is the feeling of spring. This soft, golden, floating feeling is the season singing in the wind. Walking up here for sunrise always gives me so much perspective. It's so interesting to watch the soft changes in the season, noticing something new each time. There's a different colour each week. This week, it's a warm, ochre yellow, a golden haze that fills the valley with its glow. As the sun rises, its light reaches through the rainforest, and everything is illuminated by gold. The feeling of the morning's first light on your face has to be one of the most beautiful things in the world. How the light highlights little parts of your faces first before everywhere else. So beautiful. Spring has given new life to everything. The grass is growing tall and soft. The sun is radiant. The wind is gentle. The cliff faces are glowing with excitement of the new season. The decay of winter prepares spring for this growth, which moves to a summer of energy, an autumn of calm, and back to a winter of rest. The never-ending dance of the season always inspires us, and it feels like spring is this rebirth, this burst of energy where everything comes back to life, growing fast and seeping beauty. It feels like the season's dance spreads this golden glow across the land, a celebration of colour and light and growth. Last week, Magnolia gave birth to a tiny boy named Cowboy. His soft eyes feel like a celebration of spring. He follows his mum everywhere she goes learning and copying from everything she does. Growing so much every day. The flock has grown into the sweetest crew of cuddly little goats and we're just so proud of them all. I'm feeling really inspired to sew today. It feels like in the change of season, everything's just turned like yellow or golden. So I want to make something inspired by that, but I can't decide between this fabric or this fabric. They're both so beautiful. I think they're both sheets from the 70s. This one's flannelette and this one's cotton. I like, I like this one's texture. It's kind of fun and different. So I think I might go with it. And I've got lots of different patterns from previous things that I've made. I've had made them fit them. So I'm just gonna like mix them together and 
see what I get. <laughs> My favorite feeling is when you choose the fabric you want to use for a project and then you do this. <laughs> and it will look just better. You see the whole project out in front of your eyes and it's just so exciting and who knows what it's going to turn out like. Do you hear that sound? That I'm pretty sure is a snake slivering across the beam. It always poos and we find a snake poo down here. I think I've actually heard it before, but there it is. It must live up there. <laughs> Great, I'm gonna sleep well tonight. stressful and I always stuff it up somehow so I'm trying to like think it through first and hopefully not stuff it up this time. I believe I can do it. <laughs> but it's so refreshing. I think that the first of the mulberries have come on and I've been swimming on this beautiful big mulberry tree. So I think I'm gonna pick some to make a tart for mum's birthday, which is today. I never pick mulberries without just eating so many as I do it and I end up eating more than I pick.
I'm so excited. I have almost finished, really. I have so the whole back and the whole front. I just haven't sewn them together yet. And then all I need to do is make the sleeves and then sew them in and do up the side seams and then hem it. And sew buttons on. I always forget about sewing buttons on. It always takes ages. And I think that I did the placket right this time, which is, I'm very excited and proud of myself. It's always so hard, but look, that looks like it lines up. I'm going to sew together the sleeves into it, which I think is always the most exciting part, because you can really feel it all come together. My overlocker hasn't been working for ages and I've been avoiding it, which is what I normally do. And I normally get really stressed by it and I don't know what to do, but I just like, looked at it and worked out what the problem was and it turned out it was just that the thread was catching somewhere up here so the tension was off so then it kept on threading itself and i don't know i feel like maybe since i refurbished my old singer machine it feels like maybe i have a new skill of being able to just slowly look and work out what the problem is not panic and yeah now it's working again and i feel really proud of myself just for finding what the problem was because overlockers can be so stressful like you've got to take them all apart like this and there's just so many moving parts and blades and things that I just don't normally want to think about but when you just slowly look at it and sort it out problem by problem it's not that complex <laughs> I guess that I should probably learn from this local locker and realise that all of my problems that seem so big are just lots of small problems that need slowly solving. <laughs> like even in a practical sense, it's just like how to waterproof a pond or stop the sheep from escaping every day. If I just work through them slowly, I think I can probably do it. <laughs> Cowboy is growing so much each day. At first, he wouldn't drink any milk and we were really worried about him and Magnolia. Julia had to teach tiny cowboy how to drink by cuddling him and latching him on to suckle. It took so long, but finally he's gotten used to it and now he happily drinks all day and bounces around with joy. Julia had to milk out one side because cowboy only drank from his favorite teat and the other one was way too swollen. We think that Maggie is still producing too much milk because now she expects us to milk her while her baby drinks from the other side. We are so unsure about this whole milking thing and this is our first experience ever. But Maggie seems most comfortable if we do it and we're excited to make yogurt and maybe cheeses. Anytime I make anything with cuffs, I regret it immediately. But not this time. I'm gonna do it and I'm not gonna have any problems. I swear.
I find so much peace just sitting on this veranda looking into the rainforest and hand sewing buttons on a silly little dress that I just made for myself. But I think it's funny because I think if you told me even a few years ago that this is what I'd be doing, I'd be so surprised because I guess your ideas about your life can just change. And I had this idea about success that was so different to what I think now. Now I think if you're happy you are successful. If you enjoying your life, that's the only meaning of success, but for years I kind of imagined this completely different life for myself. I studied fashion and worked so hard and stayed up into the morning just working on uni projects trying to get the best marks that I could because I always pictured that I'd be working in the city and for big fashion brands and now I'm just sewing beautiful fairy dresses for myself and I couldn't be happier. I actually, I got a scholarship to go to one of the best fashion schools in New York and I was so excited and it was my absolute dream. And then it fell through when the pandemic came and honestly I think it's the best thing that ever happened for me. I moved home and I moved back into the rainforest cabin and I don't know, it's been so beautiful. I'm so happy with this simple life. and. Now, thinking back to that other life that I dreamt for myself, I don't think that it was... I don't think that I'd want that for me now. Back then I thought that you had to live in a city to be successful or to work in fashion or any of those things. And now that definition of success has just changed so much for me. I think that I wasn't working for myself, I was working for this idealised version of myself through other people's eyes maybe? I'm not sure, but I'm so much happier in this life. I feel so relieved to just to slow down and to live simply and just so much more happily. I guess redefining my definition of success has changed my life more than I could have ever imagined. <laughs> this Thai basil is getting so tall, so I need to cut it back. It grows so well, it just doesn't ever stop. The music in this video is by Sea Rose, whose soft, gentle music feels like it has been soaked in spring's golden light. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for the support from our patrons. We are so grateful to you.